Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Age of Gladiators. We have mail. A fleecing! Ave, friend! I am flushed with delight after our trade. It is not often I am given so generously. We should do business more often. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Pizzo. Now. Who to fight? Well, Potetus, you're going to be the one that goes out there. You're the only elite fighter that's really available right now. Your Pugio is in. Your plate mail is ready. So why don't you go fight Turtus? Potitus. Three to one odds against Gallio. I believe this is the guy we wanted to fight, right? 105 dexterity? Yes, it is him. Galio, 23 and 0. You do more damage, but I think we have a good chance here. And he has been killed in battle! But Potetus took serious injuries. A slocking battle of attrition, and we have a winner. Galio, killed in battle, 23 and 1. He lost a pretty bad one there. But Bautidus, you're out for a while. That was a pretty tough fight. You're definitely out for a while, but you did well. I'm proud of you. Dislocated finger and a broken leg? Yeah, that is expected. All right. We grew our low. So for our next fight, Atalus. He's already geared up and ready to go. Atelus, you go out there, and you are fighting Fusis. Boy, you're going to just ring that guy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, he's injured. Fusis. Goodbye, sir. Just that fast. The crippled fighter is killed. Well done, Atelus. Well done. Let's take your stuff back here. Nine days. Oh, the Pugio. Yes. Very good Pugio. 49 plate. Eh, I prefer it to be higher than that. I'll buy it. But I prefer it to be better. All right. So I, I was looking around in between episodes. And I, I remember we're looking at like none of these things. So let's go check out some of this other stuff up here. So the journal, okay, so it's literally like what happens, gotcha, day by day basis, interesting. Uh, the ledger, we're losing 28,000 a day, but we're sitting on almost a million, so to date, yeah, we've made 8 million, but we've lost 7 million. Makes sense. So we've spent a hundred thousand on mission expenses. We've purchased a hundred eleven thousand worth of fighters, and then paid them nearly two million denarii. Wow. Same with our staff, actually, for their salaries as well. That's very expensive. We've dropped sixty thousand on weapons and armor, though that's nothing compared to how much we pay our our salaries here. Jeez. Purses shared, 2.2 million. So I figured it'd be more than that. Perks purchased, 192,000. Stable upgrades and maintenance and repair. It's all nothing. It's pennies compared to our salaries. My goodness. We have past fighters for sure. Lintilus. He was killed by Fusis. But he did kill Pizzo. Wow. Epic? I wonder what epic means. I don't know. So we got a shoulder sprain, a slash stomach, and then he was killed on execution. Where's my music? Ezum. He was a rising star. Killed in his prime by Theodoricon. Unfortunately. Marathon, epic, marathon. So I guess marathons must be long battles. Epics are like awesome battles. I guess. I'm not sure. 
Usaden. You did not fare very well, Usaden. You lost your first match. You won your other match, your, your second match, and then you lost your third match in a death. A chest wound. Broken arm and sprained knee. My goodness. Poor guy. And now we start getting to the stars. Crispinus, the executioner. 14 and 1. He fought well. Had a lot of epics. Interesting. And he was killed by a pierced heart. You tried, Crispinus. You tried. Helva, the hyena. Killed by Axum, huh? Also 14 and 1. In an epic. Paraplegic. Chest wound, sprained knee. All took you out there. The very end. Unfortunate. Interesting. Seems 14 and 1. That's a, Getting past your 14th win, that does seem to be a hump that some fighters are encountering. Gurgis. Killed by Sula. In an epic, you had almost exclusively epics. And you were killed in an execution. You had internal bleeding and a broken finger. So they did you probably... They were probably nice and fair for you. And then Denatus. Or Dentatus. You lost your very first fight. It was a marathon against Structus. He broke your knee and then executed you. Wow. Uh, what about the Hall of Fame? Anyone? Barba the Somber. Superstar. 33 and 7. He had 28 kills to his name. Level 40. Owned by Turtus. And killed by Hathis. Well done. Was the only fighter to be in the Hall of Fame. It's interesting. Rankings? Wow. Top fighters. In Brudundi... Eh. Brundisium. Putidus, despite his current state, he is in fact the second best fighter in all of Brundisium. Hathis is 20th. We have Rala and Sula as well, very effective fighters. Fitting up 43 and 44. Atellus in 56. Wow. Drusus and Drusus, Winitran and Barba picking up the top 75. And Tubertus, slightly better than Seneca. I would say Tubertus would absolutely wreck Seneca. My goodness. And there's no one else that's interesting. We have fresh fighters to look at. I'm not seeing anything interesting in here. Gonna be honest. Alright, well, so be it. But Potitus, you are the best fighter they have proclaimed. That is interesting because a fight between any of these top four, any of them fighting together, it would, it would be an interesting fight to be sure. Atellus, Potitus, Hathis, and Rala. It'd be very interesting to see who would come out on top among them. Aha! Uh -huh. Staff. Well, how about some training and an armor bonus? Alright. We have a strong fight ahead of us. Rala. You're good with Pugios. We have a nice shiny Pugio for you. 131. Unfortunately, you only have hide armor, which is a little rough. Only 10% on that front. Yeah. However, you're very skilled. Absolutely. All right. Let us fight Turtus with Rala. Five to one in your favor. Absolutely. Oh my. We have you on stamina and reflexes and agility and health. 
And armor, for that matter. Go beat up Paulus, please. Ah, his life has been spared, but good victory, Rala. Good victory. You're out for a few days. Aha! A perk point, yes. That is correct. Well... I'm not sure. Reputation boost doesn't matter. We have the highest possible reputation, I think. We're revered. We could upgrade Gladiator starting level or health bonus. I don't really want to go higher than level 2, though, because then we start missing out on skill points. Because we dump all of our skill points into... Uh, or we dump all of our uh, expertise into getting more skill points. So if you start at a higher level, then you're going to miss out on that expertise uh, and thus leave the skill points to follow. So, we're going to stay at level 2. Health bonus is tempting. Really is. Morale loss on removal. Bet on enemies or purse sharing. The morale loss removal on purse sharing is very tempting. But if we just up our purse amount then that kind of negates it at the same time. So, better weapons. We get a damage bonus in the marketplace. Okay. Yeah, let's start working on better weapons. Because I'm feeling like we're behind on weapon power. We're going to pass up this strong fight. Our stars are largely out of it. We have a Telus, I suppose. And you're working on... Yeah, your crit chance. Which means, of course, you need to hit now 100 dexterity, which is nice. It is. But, Atelis... Alright, you are too valuable to me to risk right now. So we're just going to go to the next month. What's the sponsorship cost? 80,000. How are we feeling? 472. Eh. I don't know. We'll not sponsor. It's fine. Strong fight. Again, we're going to pass up the strong fight for now. A mild fight. Now, this, this one's easy. Let's put in you, Drusus, or this other Drusus. I hate that they're the same name. You leveled up. You have one available point to go into quickness for your agility. And you leveled up as well. You're at nine points. You're very close. Let's get your stamina up. So you're at 60 stamina. You have four more points. All goes into health. Tubertus, who is also saving his points. Ten skill points. You are sick. So we'll just add dexterity for now. Barba, no... Th uh, you have expertise, but you're saving that. All right. Well, this Drusta, Drusa... I think he can do well. We'll give him a Hosta. And no armor. All right. Go and fight Piso with either Drusus, actually. They're both good to go. Uh, we'll send out you. Five to one against Ada Rex. Ada Rex. Yeah, I think you've got this guy pretty well here. He has been executed. Good. Rala gained a level. We'll come back to that. We have a low fight against... Let's go against Pizzo again. This time with the other Drusus. Who is slightly better on defense. 
Seven to one, Seneca. Hello, Seneca. You're sick. He's just throwing Seneca out here. He's like, let's just get this guy off payroll. Like, <laughs> let's just screw this guy right now. Goodbye, Seneca. There he goes. Seneca's down. The losing fighter is executed. Well done, Drusus. Well done. Rala, you gained a level. I guess you should just go ahead and save up for Out of the Gate again, or, or one of these special talents, because they're really good. They're very useful. Ten skill points. Let's put that towards health. You're not going to have a lot of damage mitigation, so you're going to need a lot of health to make up for it. Have you leveled up since? You have not. You've got your ways out from leveling up. In fact... Aha! Uh -huh. Staff! More evaluation, because that last evaluation was garbage. Ah, uh, more armor. We have new merchandise. Double up on the hostas. Holy cow. Uh, nothing special out in the armor. Alright. Staff member also. Sickness. Okay. Average fight, Atelus. This is definitely something for you to deal with. Let's get rid of this 71 and this 72. Because those are really good. You need Lancia. Why don't you put on this Lancia? And... Get rid of this Pugio. It's pretty bad. And you have Hide Armor. Okay. 10%. Atellus, go fight one of Turtus' soldiers. Three to one against <laughs> Crispinus. Really? Okay. Hello, Crispinus. You're probably screwed. Let's get to it. Nice. Oh. Oh. Atellus. Atellus. There you go. All right. His life has been spared due to his history. Atelus, you're very effective. I really appreciate your effectiveness. Mild fights are ahead of us here. Work towards sickness recovery, please. Two mild fights. Atelus, you've leveled up. Continue to up your crit chance. And with your 10 points, let's go into health, actually. You don't have a lot of health. We'll give you over 500. That way you can at least take a little bit with you. Let's go with, for this match, mild match. We'll go to Turtus with Drusus. 6-1. to one. Against Amazig. Yeah... Bye, Amazig. His life has been spared. Lucky you. And the next fight? We will go back to Turtus. With the other Drusus. Two to one. Against Veres. Interesting. We have more strength. More agility, more reflexes, more dexterity, more health, more damage. All he has is more stamina and more armor. I don't see how we could lose this. We did not. Execution. Vedis has been felled and we just got a hundred grand. We finally hit a million. But that does not put us in the top 250 in wealth. Eventually, we'll need to make it to Rome in order to make any sort of money, apparently. Oh. Riches. Ave. You are truly on the way to becoming one of the wealthiest individuals in all the Roman Republic. All eyes are fixed on your progress. Signed, Quintus Pompeius Rufus. 
staff member. Needs leveled up. There you go. And guys, that's actually going to do it for this episode. So remember, if you liked the video, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Best thing to do for the channel. As always, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time with some more Age of Gladiators. Let's give him ten more stamina, shall we? Thanks for watching. DFTBA.